Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. Today is March 11th as of the recording of this video and Samsung just pushed off the latest software update to the Galaxy Z Flip 4 and the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Now, if you own any of these two devices, take a look inside your settings, see if there's an update sitting there for you. If you have the auto update turned on and you are connected to Wi-Fi as you're getting that done and you take a look at your latest version, it'll end in CWB1. So if you don't know where to look for this update, all you'd have to do is go and of your settings on the very top right hand side scroll all the way down where it says software update and you just want to go right here to download and install now if you believe that maybe you just downloaded the latest update you can take a look right here where it says last update it'll let you know when you got that update done so maybe you already have this one now the notes that i have for this update is listed here along with a few more which i'll let you know and so basically right here just states that a software update can include but not limited to device stability improvements and bug fixes new and or enhanced features, further improvements and performance. Um, and also beyond what is actually listed here in the notes I have is that it helps with Samsung calls. It also fixes issues with the Samsung keyboard, the system UI, uh, the Galaxy themes, Bluetooth, and also a few more. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to install and download these to the Galaxy Z Flip 4, the Z Fold 4. Now once this update is done and complete, we'll take a look at the Galaxy Store to see what other applications we need to have updated. We'll also take a look at a couple of those issues that was listed to me as notes. Uh, so we'll take a look at the, the keyboard and also the Galaxy themes to see if there was newer versions. And we'll take a look at a few other ones as well. Maybe we'll find something that wasn't listed, such as the camera, gallery, as well as the Samsung Home. So stay tuned to see if we find anything newer other than what was listed there on the main page. But it's also at this point in the video, I like to state that if your brand is new here at the channel, Jimmy is promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now the update is done and complete on both the Flip 4 and the Fold 4, but I wanted to give the wife's phone back. So we're gonna take a look at everything else here on the Fold 4. And really when you take a look at it, both of them had the exact same update. So when you take a look inside of the software update, you take a look at the last update right here, they both ended in CWB1. The size for the Fold 4 was 392 megabytes. For the Flip 4 is right around 374. So we're not gonna see much big differences between the two updates, and they both do give you that March 1st patch. So let's first go inside of a few different applications that I have written down here. Uh, we're gonna take a look at the camera. We're just gonna see if we can find any newer versions than what was listed inside of the notes. So this one originally used to be 13.10014. This one's still 13.10014, so no changes or, or updates with the version of the camera. Same thing, let's head over inside of the gallery. The gallery used to end in 14.1020. This one is the exact same version, 14.1020. Now we're going to take a look at Samsung Home, see if there was an update here. So let's go inside settings about Samsung Home. This one did end with 14.10319. Looks like 14.10319, so the same version sitting there. Uh, now we're going to take a look inside of the Samsung keyboard. So inside of the Samsung keyboard, the original version was 5.6.10.31. 5, 6, 10, 31. So the same version of the Samsung keyboard there. So sometimes when there is even the same version of any of these features or services or settings, uh, there could be some fixes that went along on it on the back end without having to change the entire version itself. Uh, now let's take a look at the Samsung themes. So we're gonna see if there was a update to this one here. So it uh, looks like there's an update sitting right there. So originally it was 52066, which you can see right here, but there is an update sitting there so uh, maybe this update brought that little ability to update samsung themes so now let's take a look at the themes we're going to see what version it is now uh, let's see here so let's go inside of menu and then it looks like settings on the very top where you go inside of uh, the galaxy theme so originally this one used to be 52066 it is now 52074 so at least we got a newer version of the Galaxy themes, you know, again, because we saw that little update. Now, the thing I did take a look at was when I went inside of the Samsung Galaxy store right before this update, the, the Galaxy themes was not there. So maybe that update right here did bring in um, the ability to update it. Also, when I took a look at this little page right here, it said that there was 10 updates. Uh, now that we just updated, it now says 13. So in this list, we have secure Wi-Fi, we have always on display, 
Samsung Cloud, Samsung Notes, Photo Editor, an Auto Doodle, uh, Private Share, Pen Up. We have the Samsung Galaxy Friends, Shop Samsung, Samsung TV Plus, the Text to Speech, and Microsoft Office. Now I can't remember which one of these up here that I that I didn't see from before that is now showing right now. Uh, but again, we went from 10 to 13 uh, and then also to the galaxy themes gives us that update which again i believe probably came once we we're able to update this device so sometimes when you get a software update it gives you the ability to update other samsung services and applications so that's pretty much everything that I wanted to show with this update. We took a look at it. It's the CWB1. This one's around 392 megabytes. The flip four is right around 374. Uh, we noticed that there was fixes with calls, Samsung keyboard, system UI, Galaxy themes, Bluetooth, and a few other things. And those other things we just saw inside of the Galaxy store. Um, but that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.